Hello and welcome to Soda Tasting, an online show dedicated to soda reviews and appreciation. I'm Patrick O'Keefe. We're going to talk about RC Cola today, and this is my review of RC Cola with sugar. I reviewed RC Cola, the regular mainstream version sweetened with high fructose corn syrup, on episode number 48 of Soda Tasting. You can find a link to that in the description of this video. And I gave that soda a 3 out of 5. So I wanted to try the sugar version, see how it compared, see which one I preferred. RC Cola is from the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, and it was introduced in 1905. I actually purchased this bottle at the LaGrange Farmer's Market in LaGrange, Georgia, which is about 40 miles from where RC Cola was invented in Columbus, Georgia. Now this bottle has something that's kind of interesting about it, something that gave me pause. When I looked at the ingredients list, it has sugar as the second ingredient and high fructose corn syrup as the fifth. Now sometimes companies will mark a bottle or a can with high fructose corn syrup or sugar, and it might be a catch-all bottle depending on where it's bottled or where it's produced. You know, it might have sugar in it or high fructose corn syrup. It just saves them time to put both on the bottle. But this ingredient list actually has sugar as a second ingredient by itself then high fructose corn syrup as the fifth ingredient. Now that is kind of different. A lot of sodas tend to be either sugar or high fructose corn syrup, though there have been some mixes such as L81. So I just assumed it was a mix, but also you have on the cap here, bottled by Dr. Pepper Bottling Company, West Jefferson, North Carolina, 28694. And that bottling plant in West Jefferson is known for only producing sodas uh, or non-diet sodas with sugar and not high fructose corn syrup. So that was kind of a contradiction. Comparing these two versions, the high fructose corn syrup and the sugar, if you ignore that one sugar high fructose corn syrup issue, another ingredient that is in this one that's not in the high fructose corn syrup is citric acid. It's the last ingredient um, after acacia gum, where acacia gum is the last ingredient in the RC cola with high fructose corn syrup. Now, Everything else is pretty much the same, 160 calories in 12 ounces, 40 milligrams of sodium, 43 grams of total carbohydrates, 42 of which are sugar. The ingredient list is carbonated water, sugar, caramel color, phosphoric acid, high fructose corn syrup, caffeine, natural flavors, acacia gum, and citric acid. Caffeine content is 43 milligrams in 12 ounces, which is the same as RC Cola with high fructose corn syrup. All right, so let's open up the RC Cola with sugar. a little fast there. Just a real light cola smell. Very light. Nothing that really jumps out to me about it. Just, just a light kind of expected cola smell. This RC Cola with sugar, it's kind of a, a, a more of a bitter cola, where Coca-Cola to me is more of a, let's say, a sweeter cola. This is more in the bitter category of colas. So if you like that, then RC Cola with sugar, I think that's an option to check out. Um, it's an okay cola flavor, kind of in the middle for me. So let's give it a, a comparison to the high fructose corn syrup RC Cola. Or high fructose corn syrup, sugar. So picking out the differences between the two isn't necessarily easy. They're they're very similar in flavor. I would say that one with sugar is a little smoother, a little less tart, there's a little less bite to it. The high fructose corn syrup one has a little more bite. It just to me, I pick up like a stronger citrus note. That's just what I taste from it. Um, like I said, the the sugar one is just a little smoother, a little more pleasant to me. So I think I do prefer the uh, RC Cola with sugar, and I want to put it at 3.5 out of 5. Are you a fan of RC Cola? Do you enjoy the sugar version? If so, let me know in the comments on YouTube or on SodaTasting.com. Thank you for watching, and as always, everything in moderation.